save your valuable time, Atom Invoice Auto fills some inputs from default settings while creating an invoice. You can change these default settings and the appearance of your invoice for repeated use. Before moving forward, I think you are already familiar with creating invoices. If you are not, please check out the video how to create your first invoice linked in the description below. Okay, let me show you how to customize the default settings and the appearance of your invoice. To do this, first, click on the profile icon in the top left corner. Click on the Customize Invoice. There you will see three different sections. Let's start with the first one, Customize Info first. Click on it. First of all, you will see the next invoice number. Typically, the invoice number starts from one with the INV prefix. But if you want your invoices should start from a different number with a different prefix, you can edit it. For example, I want my invoices should start from 1001 in the INV prefix. So, let's edit it accordingly. Then save it. Now, go back to the invoice index screen. And try to create a new invoice. You will see that the next invoice number has been reflected in the invoice. This number auto increments every time you create an invoice. This means that in the next invoice, the number 1001 is going to be 1002. Let's go back to the Customize Invoice Info screen and see other settings. Modify the default customer note. and the default terms and conditions a bit. Go back to the invoice index screen and try to create a new invoice. Add a client. Add a line item. Scroll down to the Customer Note section. Click on it. You will see your modified customer note reflected there. Hit the OK. Let's try the terms and conditions. Click on it. You will see your modified terms and conditions there. Please keep in mind that the default settings reflect only while creating a new invoice or document. If you open one of your previous invoices, you will see there are no changes. Go back to the Customize Invoice Info screen once again. Modify the default email message. Default reminder message. And finally, the default payment receipt message. Now, let me show you where these modifications take place. Go back to the invoice index screen. Swipe an item from right to left. Click on the more. Then the send email. Scroll down to the message section. You will see your modified default email message reflected there. Great. Go back to the Invoice Index screen once again. Open the Invoice Action menu. Click on the Send Reminder. Your modified default reminder message has been reflected there. Awesome. Go back. Open the Invoice Action menu. Click on the Send Receipt. you will find that your modified default reminder message has been reflected there. Great job! Now, go back to the Customize Invoice. Let's customize the invoice design that represents your unique brand and entity. Click on the Customize Design. Here you can see a demo invoice with the default looks and appearances. And at the bottom, you have five different tabs to customize it. Let's start with the first one. 
Click on the template. Scroll through them and select your preferred template. Hit the OK button. Take a while to review the new looks and appearances of your invoice. Next, click on the table. Tick the show line it me number and the show line item description checkboxes to show line item serial numbers and descriptions. Select your preferable table. Hit the OK button. Next, click on the color. Select the color that matches your brand. Hit the OK button. Next, click on the banner. Select a top banner that you prefer. Then, click on the bottom banner. Select a bottom banner that you like. Hit the OK button. Next, click on the watermark. Capture it using the camera. Upload it from the gallery. Use the business initial. Or select your preferable watermark from our in-house pre-designed items. Hit the OK button. In this way, you can fully customize the looks and feelings of your invoices. Finally, hit the Save button. Next, Customize Labels. Click on it. These are the default labels the system uses on invoices, but you can change all of them, and even, you can write them in your own language too. For example, let's change the label Invoice to Tax Invoice. Save it. Click on the customized design to preview it. You see that the changes have been reflected here. Now go back. And change it once again. For example, Pro Invoice. Save it. Open Preview. You will see the changes here. Let's go back once again. In the same way, you can change all other labels like Number Date Due Date Ho No Item Details Price QTY Total Subtotal Discount Tax Total Paid Balance due, payment instruction, note, terms and conditions, and all others. That's all. Now if you go back to the invoice index screen. Create a new invoice. You see, here is your customized invoice template reflected. And once again, these default settings only work when you create a new invoice or document. This means if you go back and open one of your previous invoices, you see, there are no changes. If you want to customize this specific invoice, just click on the Customize button and feel free to make changes to its labels and design. Congratulations! You have learned all about changing the default settings and the appearance of your invoice. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.